David Byrne, of course, his brother-in-law is Thomas Bomber Kavanagh, mm. who was arrested. He's, what we said there, head of the Kinnahan cartel, supposedly, as well. Can you tell us a little, about, a little bit more about who is Bomber Kavanagh? So Bomber Kavanagh is a very serious criminal who came out of Drimna, who would have been one of the first drug dealers that kind of came along after Larry Dunn. Uh, he very quickly moved out of Ireland after the Criminal Assets Bureau was established because he was what, he was actually their first target. Um, and he moved to Birmingham and we kind of... Their first before Gilligan? Uh, yeah, he was himself and, and uh, George the Penguin Mitchell actually were the first two targets of them. They were first brought to court. He lost a house to them back in 96 maybe. What? So he moves to Birmingham and, you know, we kind of lose a little bit of him. Uh, obviously not the guards, because there he establishes himself as a key uh, wholesaler of drugs and weapons into Ireland. And he sort of becomes Daniel Kinahan's number two. Um, he is, and was described by the National Crime Agency in the UK after this, this sentencing, as the, the number one player in the UK and Ireland. So he was basically running the Kinahan empire in the two countries. OK, the fall of Bomber Kavanagh. It's on tonight on Virgin Media 1 at 9pm. Nicola is, of course, involved. Let's take a look. The group would refer to the person that was directing and commanding this drugs trafficking operation as the boss or the gaffer. But crucially, there's also a photograph contained within that phone. And without question, the NCA know who the gaffer is. When I saw that photograph of the weapons that were hidden in Bomber Kavanagh's bedroom, it gave me a chill up my spine. Thomas Bomber Kavanagh is probably one of the most significant convictions I have seen in the course of, of my career. Although the time did come when our analyst was able to say, I've got him. OK, so this is, it's all connected. Like mm -hmm. what you're looking at now in Jerry the Monk Hutch's trial is connected to this. And we always think of Daniel Kinnan as one of the biggest players in the world. Mm -hmm. So this guy is very high up. Yeah, an unknown really. And that's what's interesting about the documentary. And also it was because of the Hutch Kinnan feud and because of a raid that came on the back of it in Dublin that, it, you know, it, in the course of that raid, a piece of paper was found that led police back to warehousing that Bomber was using in Birmingham. And it was the kind of like sort of the smoking gun really, because the Gardaí handed over the information to the British counterparts. They put up surveillance operation on him and we'll see tonight how it fell and how they eventually, in that uh, document you saw, the gaffer, they were trying to prove who the gaffer was. They knew it was Bomber Cavanagh. just down to a piece of paper? A pe well, I mean, there was obviously, there's a big investigation in the background, but a piece of paper found during a raid in Dublin where there was a load of weapons found, like, linked them back to companies in the UK and really was the start of unlocking his secret empire there. Wow. You know, the, the criminals have to be lucky all the time, they always say. Like, they, but they, yeah, because I know that you went over with the Sunday World investigative mm. team like to kind of confront him because he was happily operating in Birmingham for a very long we time. We went just before the feud, like 2015, because I knew he was very big. He was coming back in bigger and bigger cars. He was a huge, big character on the scene and... Uh, found him, like for a guy who left Ireland penniless, having given up everything he had to the Criminal Assets Bureau, he was living in this huge big mansion in a kind of footballer's belt of Birmingham. And, you know, you just could see how That's... big he'd got. Oh, I mean, it sounds fascinating, really, really does. Uh, Nicola Talent, of course, investigations editor at Sunday World. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Looking forward to watching that. Thank you very much. The Fall of Bomber Cabinet, it airs tonight at 9pm on Virgin Media One. And of course, you can keep up to date with everything that Nicola's doing in her Crime World podcast.